13 possessions on the day for Ronnie Burns. They've got to get the game moving, the umpires. That's number 13 right there. Kick forward. Yeah. There's the turnover, Gary. Hutton's got it at half back. Thinks about dishing it off. Now he hangs on to the ball. Play on. High ball. Disputed ball. Whitnell. Did he get in the back of his opponent? He did. And Brad Scholl, the recipient of the free kick, ticking down inside the last two minutes of the game. Well, they've been very good at this in every quarter, James. They have slowed it down inside the last two minutes. We've got runners out there letting them know what time is left. Scholl, long driving ball, King. They need to slow it down here, the Cats. Thornton kicked to the boundary line. The question's got to be asked, Gary, where was this effervescence and passion well, prior to the last quarter from the Blues? I don't know, Brian. That's what makes this game so very hard to read. But there are large numbers around this ball. If they get into space, Carlton, they've got an open forward line. Contested ball here. Camp Rally won it. Got it out. So they're away. Standing start, Thornton delivers to half forward. Rook almost claimed it. Milburn had to get rid of it. He would have been pinged. Graham, look at them dive on the ball. Oh, look at them go now, both sides. We are down to the last minute of the game. It's in a good spot. It is in a good spot. I can't believe that uh, the Cats haven't thrown a couple of extra numbers back. 80 disposals to the Blues, 54 to Geelong. You just throw every Geelong play, wouldn't you, inside defensive 50? Five balls it up, centre wing. King, off ground, Milburn, got his work cut out. Corey, it was in fact Harley. Oh, oh smelled by Pluckett. in hard. Ratton, it's still alive for the Blues. Bradley, Corey, it's still there. Unbelievably Clark. Free kick, free, free kick, kick to Carlton. Carlton's way, it was off the ball. Camberelli. Camberelli has got it too far out to score. He's 60 metres out. It'd be 30 seconds, I reckon, Brian, or less. Camberelli and the Blues trail by four points. He goes to the oh. seen anything like it in my life Brian. I have never seen a game like it. They are going to win the game. They were 37 points down at three quarter time. Oh, just Lappin has a shot on the goal line with not long remaining. Uh, a last kick I reckon. The last, almost last kick. Lappin to put the Blues in front for the first time today with nearly the last kick of the day. Well, a 50-metre penalty. Dubious, and I have to say, a very questionable 50-metre penalty All has the given the back. Blues the lead. They lead it by two points. The Blues flood back. 26 seconds remaining in the contest. Can the Cats get it inside their 50 and get a shot on goal? A blistering final turn from the Blues. They trailed a reminder by 37 points at three-quarter time. King and Hotton winning it down. Camparelli dispossessed. Corey Kilpatrick misses the body with the handball. Now Clark, short ball, got a target. Riccardi. Uh, well, Riccardi has taken the mark inside the 50. It is in good hands. It is in good hands. The I've siren got to tell you. is going to sound, Gary. This shot on goal will be after the siren, oh. and he has to kick it for the Cats to win. There it is. Oh, I tell you what, has it been a more dramatic last quarter of footy? And goal scored after the siren have been invoked. I tell you, this is a massive kick from lots of perspectives. I can't believe this last quarter, boys. Three it is in good hands. On the day for Peter Riccardi, one of the most skilled exponents of the set shot in the game. Let's watch the fate of the match riding on Peter Riccardi. It leaves the boot. It's swinging back. Jaws of defeat at Colonial Stadium. What a finish. I told you.